Welcome back. And in this bonus video, we're going to be covering the tool that I created in Python 3 that is used to gather emails. Now, even though later in the course we will be coding some of our own Python tools, this is one that we will not code, so we will just see how it works. I will explain how it works, of course, and we are going to see how many emails it can gather. So, this is the tool right here called Email Scraper. And you will have this to download in the resources of this lecture. But let me show you how you can transfer it on the Kali Linux desktop. If you go up here on the devices and you go on drag and drop and click on bidirectional, then anything that you have on your desktop, since I had the program right here, if you go and drag it to your Kali Linux machine, it will get moved onto your Kali Linux desktop. As you can see right here, this folder already contains this file, since I already have it on my desktop, so I will just skip this. But you, after setting this to be directional, can transfer any file from your host desktop to your Kali Linux desktop. Okay, good. Now that we know how we can transfer it, let us see what this tool is and how we can run it. So just to check out the code of this tool real quick, let us double click on it, and let me enlarge all of this. And what this tool essentially does is it asks us for the URL and we provide it with the URL of a certain domain name. Then what this tool does is it tries to extract all of the emails that are in the HTML page of the URL that you specified. But what it also does is it tries to crawl within other URLs that are found inside of that page. For example, this count variable right here that is equal to 100 means that we will be searching for emails in 100 different links. So you specify the main URL, then it goes through that URL, it extracts all of the emails, but it also extracts all of the other URLs that are leading to different pages. Then it goes to those different pages and performs the same thing. It tries to find the emails and it also finds more URLs. And it does that until it reaches 100 URLs. This is a number that you can change if you want to, so you can set this to be lower or higher depending on how much results you want to find. Down here we can see that it is finding those emails using regex. So this is the pattern that we are searching for, and don't worry if you don't understand any of this, regex is just a way for us to find certain patterns in a lot of text. So for example, this is a pattern that will allow us to find emails in the HTML code of the page. And then we, at the end of this, print all of the emails that we found. So that is the basic principle behind this tool. Let us see how it runs and whether we managed to find more emails than we did with Hunter.io and the Harvester. So let's close this. Go to our terminal. Find where you have this file downloaded. And I have it on my desktop. And to just run it, we can type Python 3 and then the name of the file. It will tell us enter target URL to scan, and here I'm going to specify the full URL to the same domain name that we used for the harvester and hunter.io, just so we can compare how many results we get with this tool and how many results we got with hunter.io and the harvester. So if I type the domain name and press here enter, this will go and process 100 links. And depending on whether you change that number, it might be higher or lower. And at the end of processing these links, it will print out all of the emails that it managed to find. So if you remember, with hunter.io, the website that we used, with the free account, we managed to gather 10 different emails. With the harvester, first time, we didn't manage to get any email. But after running it a couple of times, we might be able to get around 10 to 15 different emails with the harvester. But let's see how many this tool will find. So let's just wait for this to finish and I will get back to you as soon as it's done. Okay, so the tool has finished scanning and here are all of the emails that we managed to find. You can see there is at least 100 or 150 of them and they all belong to the same domain. Now, we might occasionally find some email that doesn't belong to this domain. And we saw one down here, I believe. Let me just find it. This one. It doesn't have the domain name inside of the email, but all of the others do. And we got 
at least 5 to 10 times more results than we managed to get with the Harvester, which is Cal Linux tool, or with the free account of Hunter.io. And here are all the links that it processed, so it clicked on all of these links and it tried to extract as much emails as it could from these links. Cool, right? So now you have a tool that will be able to capture a lot of emails based on the specified domain. Just make sure that once you run the tool, you specify HTTP or HTTPS before the domain name. Okay, so this tool is now yours. Feel free to use it as much as you want. And later on in the course, we will also be coding our own Python tools. They will not be some too advanced tools, but we will be covering basics of creating our own hacking tools, which is something that every hacker should at some point of their journey learn. Great. So now that we finished with the information gathering section, we are ready to start off with scanning section. And you might be wondering how are you going to be able to follow the scanning section and all the other sections since you don't really have permission to scan any website. Don't worry. There are a lot of free vulnerable machines and websites that we can download and practice on them. And we're going to be see how we can find them and install them inside of our virtual box. So we will have our own vulnerable lab where we can practice our hacking. So thank you for watching this section and I will see you in the next one.